Okay, so that's probably good. That means we might only need to be facing off against one of them. Let's just start stacking a few long range ca- Oh, come on. What? <laughs> There's multiples of them and they have shockwaves? How is this fair? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Battle Cats. Now, over the past few episodes, I've been saying that I really don't want to upload this game on a schedule. And it's not because I'm not enjoying Battle Cats, but I really want to make it so that every video is worth your time watching. And I feel like I need a big, exciting, like, new event to cover to make that the case. And today, fortunately, we've got two big, exciting things going on with the crazed fish and the crazed gross. So I currently have five crazed cats left to get, and they appear randomly throughout the month for a very short period of time. If I can get two of them today, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Now the thing about the crazed cats is you have a general idea what to expect. Like it's gonna be a cat with probably a couple million health and a ton of damage. It'll look very similar to a cat that we already have, except it'll have the added dark spooky aura underneath it. But none of that really helps when it comes to strategizing. Like, when it comes to picking out the cats that you need to beat it, I have no idea what I'm doing, because all of the levels are wildly different from one another, so I'm just gonna bring a very general, well-rounded loadout with me. This is what I've settled on, some of my strongest cats, cats that I can bring with me to pretty much any level. We have a little anti-black, anti-metal, anti... -metal, anti everything so hopefully that'll do and i think we are going to start off with the crazed fish I believe that's the easier one do i want to use a consumable on my first attempt uh, i i don't think so i say first attempt because i really don't expect to beat this the first time like i'm gonna check my expectations here plus i don't have a tailored loadout so that's fine we're just gonna try fish hell I feel like cats being surrounded by fish would be heaven, wouldn't it? Oh, it's probably like fishes hell. Yeah, there's that spooky aura I was talking about. Um, you're moving a little bit fast for a crazed cat there, bud. Oh, you're a bit of an abnormal. Okay, um, maybe we should just start stacking cyborg now. Yeah, you're really close to my base already. I don't have time to get an Uber or Waken Bahamut or anything. What is going on? You are such a strange cat. <laughs> I mean, we're holding it off. I think it's single target attack. It doesn't look like it's actually doing anything to break through my meat shields. I'm not... Oh, it's one of these cats. I see. Okay, so it's gonna send spammy waves of them. Kind of like uh, Cow, I believe, did that. These ones... It's like I said, you never know what to expect. These ones are so weird. Maybe Awaken Bahamut would like to have a word with you guys. He's usually pretty good at talking to uh, cats. Okay, uh, okay. Metal, huh? Oh, thank God I brought Catasaurus. I don't even know if I can beat that though. This thing is kind of, what, what, why? Oh, we got a crit in. I was gonna say, why are you the most challenging part of this level? Right the, oh, oh those critical hits. That was dope! Why would they give you a metal unit and have that be the boss and be the more difficult part rather than the actual crazed cat itself? You see what I mean? You would never expect that. They've never done that in any other cat level before. If I'd known that, I would have brought a little bit more anti-metal. I've got Berserker up to like level 28 now or something like that. He could have one-shotted it. But either way, first attempt! Unlocked super rare cat crazed fish cat. All right. All right, you guys cost a crap ton of experience to level up. Man, I really wanted to evolve it because I can only imagine that the evolve form looks unreal. But I just don't have a couple million experience to piss away at the moment. Plus we have like half a dozen Ubers that need to be leveled up. I really need to do more grinding in this game. I've been trying, okay? But I guess we do have the perfect loadout, right? I still have the same well-rounded, all-around loadout. I, I don't think I need any changes, so we're just gonna move on to the Crazed Gross with Festival Gross. That sounds lovely, just the perfect time of year. I don't know why both of these are happening at the same time. Does that happen every month or? Ew, yeah, you are 
definitely terrifying. Are you fast? You're a little bit slower than the last one. Okay, so that's probably good. That means we might only need to be facing off against one of them. Let's just start stacking a few long range ca- Oh, come on. What? <laughs> There's multiples of them and they have shockwaves? How is this fair? This is the absolute tits. I'm only fighting off one of them and I can barely do that. The other one isn't even here yet. Guys, I'm not even gonna send out meat shields because they don't do anything. They just get evaporated instantly. I need to send out damage dealers. There we go. Oh, 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 can I save up to get? Yes, okay. Paslan is resistant to shockwaves, right? So maybe he can salvage this. That's what I'm talking about. I go and say that and then they push us all the way back behind our base. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should just get Bahamut out there. Yeah, maybe Bahamut could do a thing or two. Like slap the crap out of those gross little legs. Yes, Bahamut is just carrying me today. <laughs> and I am totally okay with that. Oh yeah, just show them how much better an awakened cat is than a crazed cat. I love it. Oh my god, I got so much money now. It's still pointless to send out meat shields. They're just gonna get obliterated, but we're moving up the battlefield. We're marching. Oh, I love it. I love it. Bazlan is just slowly taking up the rear now. He's perfectly fine with that. He could just stare at the cyborgs. We can see the base. We can see the base. Yes, go, go, go. Fire the cat cannon. Clear the way. I can't believe this worked on the first attempt. <laughs> this was supposed to take me all episode. I have nothing else planned. Crazed gross cat. There you have it. All you really need is Awaken Bahamut and uh, a whole lot of luck. I did not think that would be the case, but my crazed gross cat also has the wave attack, which is pretty dope. I definitely want to try that sometime, but again, I can't do it now because I don't have the experience. So what are we gonna do? Are there any other events going on? Oh right, the maniacs. You guys keep telling me to try them, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I need to get all nine crazed cats. I still don't have dragon or titan. So probably the two hardest ones. I still don't think I can advance in Cats of the Cosmos because I still have no idea what I'm doing with that weird special only cat restriction stage. So how about we try Stories of Legend? Because I think right now I'm on stage 21 and at the end of stage 23, you get the new secret special cat, the, the new Urun, the little elf man. I'm not really sure what it is, but I do want it. So let's move on to safe and not sorry. Again, I have the same well-rounded general loadout. I should be perfectly fine, right? They got squirrels, okay. Well, I have anti-squirrel uh, being gun. Go gun. Super effective. Gun is super effective against squirrel. Gun is super effective against shockwave pigeon. What the what the hell is shockwave pigeon? Have we ever seen that before? <laughs> that could definitely be concerning a little bit later on. Yeah, shockwave pigeon. Okay, you know what, Bahamut? Maybe you should just speed this up for me right now because I don't want to get any more surprises thrown my way in the form of, of birds. More birds. God, I freaking hate these birds. Okay, okay, you guys really aren't messing around, huh? That's cool. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna spend all of my money and send out everything. Um, I don't feel so good about this anymore. This was supposed to be a cakewalk. <laughs> what is happening right now? Just spam everything. Okay, we're, we're starting to bring them to parody. There we go. Okay, Paslan, if you, if you could just lay those giant creepy hands down, that'd be wonderful. That's what I'm talking about, directly in that stupid flightless bird's face. Dear moths and birds, inching closer to my base will be seen as a sign of aggression and it shall be met with equal aggression. I really need to get more cats from Tales of Nekaluga. Like, I've realized that I've grown completely enamored by Shishula and Pastelan. It's one of my favorite cats now because it's just such a weird, gross cat. Moving on to Claustronictophobia. 
I don't know what that's the fear of, but I'm gonna assume it's the fear of shockwave pigeons. Hopefully not. I really don't want to deal with more of them. I hate the freaking shockwave. Oh, oh, it's something. It's a head and a cat. No, it's a dog. It's a wall dog rather than wall cat. Weird. Uh, okay. What's the catch? There's gotta be some kind of catch. There's no way that head is supposed to beat me. There's, there's no freaking chance. There's gotta be something weird happening right now. Okay, maybe we'll just send out a couple of basic cats, some stuff that moves a little bit fast, can get up to the front line, and just poke at it. Right, if you're not sure what it is, you should just give it a poke. We are at a strong parody right now, and I wish I had some kind of giant vanilla nuking area of effect cat to just blow them all up. Like, look at them! They're all stacked on top of each other like giant, stupid, slobbering bowling pins. It'd be beautiful, but I can't. I just gotta keep whittling away at them. And this is why I edit my videos more. You know, people were wondering why I edit out so much of the levels sometimes, and it's because a lot of it is just this. You just sit here for like 10 minutes, spamming cats, holding them at parody, waiting for them to just give up and die. <laughs> Well, the head died about five minutes ago. We have a second Shishulan on the way. They keep replacing the freaking hyenas. I can't believe it. They just keep stacking those pins back up, and I gotta keep knocking them down and then inching forward. It's a little bit better. You know, now that the head is dead, I feel like he was probably the brains of the operation, right? He was holding everything together. These guys look like they drink glue in their spare time. And it's not the drool. It's because they're kind of stupid. We are so freaking close to this base. Come on guys, just touch it. It'll evaporate underneath you. There we go, okay, finally, we're actually, man, oh man. Like, these levels, they're not even hard. They just take such a long goddamn time. <laughs> Cannot believe that. I think I've had enough shockwave pigeons and annoying hyenas for one episode, but I realize that there's a treasure festival going on in Into the Future, and I still need to get all of these treasures. Normally I would do this off camera, but these levels are a little bit easier, which means I don't necessarily need to try as hard, and instead I could show you guys some cats that we've been unlocking over the past few episodes, but we haven't really gotten to use, like the two new crazed cats, we have Ganglion who I've evolved, and Sodom. Sodom's only level one, but again, don't really need to try, so for 6,000, we can uh, save up and send him out against some slow, stupid red units. Yeah, okay, hold on. You guys just uh, hang out over there for a second. You guys are being really rude test subjects right now. Can you just go wait over by your base? <laughs> I'm not quite ready yet. Uh, almost. Maybe fire the cat cannon and delay them a little bit. Okay, there we go. Go, Sodom. Go, a little bit faster. Okay, they'll they'll come to you. <laughs> like I said last time, he he feels like the epitome of all of the dragon emperors because he's expensive and slow and stupid. But in reality, he's not the same as all the other dragon emperors. We do have Ganglion, who I've evolved. I don't know what he is now, but, uh, oh, but he's big and epic looking. <laughs> that is awesome! Holy crap. A lot of time for him to recharge his attack. He just kind of awkwardly stands there, but... Damn, that is wicked. Okay, how about the crazed cats? Really long cooldown on gross. I don't like that. Ooh, but I do like the shockwave. It's very rare to see an allied shockwave. That's also awesome. Yeah, this is just a complete crapshoot right now. <laughs> like, pigs in a barrel. I think what surprises me most about Ganglion is his speed, still. I, I can't believe that he's a dragon that just soars across, like he flies, right? Dragons flying, soaring across the battlefield. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Usually they're supposed to be like Zodom, or, ooh, or, or like uh, Dio Ramos, or any of the other ones. Oh, guys, don't play the epic music for these idiots. What are you doing? <laughs> This is completely unfitting. Fire to see Cat Cannon. We'll make them shut up. There you go. I wonder how much damage you really do. Not bad. Was that like 20,000 or something like that? He's strong against zombies. That's the thing. He's not really going to serve any other purpose, I don't think. He might be good against alien. But I have so much anti-alien that it really doesn't matter. 
can't wait to take on that zombie cyclone again. We're going to feed it to him. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I feel really good having gotten two more Craze Cats today. Like, I kind of figured I'd be able to beat them, because I probably should have gotten all of them by now. I've come quite a long way in the game, but just finding the stages is really difficult. Like, they only appear for a couple of hours a month kind of thing. So I'm going to keep an eye out for Dragon, I'm going to keep an eye out for Titan. I don't think I've ever seen them before, but hopefully we'll be able to get them soon, and then finally take a crack at a maniac. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. GG!